Men, how many accessories would you say that we have available to us? Not many. And of the ones we do have, some improve our style and some put a damper on our damper. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the scarf. It's a perfect way to improve your outfit in the winter, to stay warm, and to look great while doing so. Scarves are most commonly made out of wool, cotton, cashmere, satin, silk, or linen. But do you know how to properly wear one? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. However, before we get into that, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the like button. Between style tips and tricks, clothing reviews, and everything else in our library of videos, we make what you need to help you elevate your style. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, support this channel, let us help you step up your style. I'm Bill Sweet and this is the Dad Bod. A typical scarf ranges from about 65 to 70 inches. You have some that are a little bit smaller, like around 55 to 60 inches, and then extra large ones, which are more like 75 to 80 inches. And then for men, they tend to be about six inches wide. You do want to be mindful of the length of your scarf versus how you tie it and what you're wearing with it. For example, this one right here is the simple drape. I'm wearing a 70 inch scarf and my jacket drapes low so that way it covers the scarf. You don't want your scarf to hang lower than your jacket. For this, I take the scarf and I fold it in half. I put it around the back of my neck and then drape it over my shoulders and that's it. Like I said, make sure it doesn't show below your jacket. These extra buttons with this extra long jacket really helps with that. And this one works better with thinner scarves and when it's not as cold because as you can see, the front of my neck is exposed. But it looks very nice. For colder days, try this one. It's the drape tuck. You drape it, making sure one end is longer, wrap the longer end around your neck, and then tuck both sides into the front. This way it's a bit warmer on those colder days. Another one for colder days and nights is the four in hand. This one looks amazing and it works best with a long scarf. I'm gonna use my Harry Potter Hufflepuff scarf for this. You take the scarf and fold it in half, wrap it around your neck, put one of the ends through the loop, take the loop and then twist it and put the other end through that. Then adjust accordingly. This one is a lot warmer and it looks fantastic. If this one is too much for you or if your scarf is too short, try the Parisian knot. Similar to the last one without the second loop, fold it in half, throw it over your neck, and then feed both ends through the loop. Clean it up as necessary and there you go. That's going to keep your neck nice and warm and keep you looking great. I tend to tuck my ends into my jacket, but you can keep it untucked if that's your preference. Next is the once around, also known as the aviator. You want to have more fabric on one side, put it over your neck, and then the longer side wraps around your neck one time. If you have a longer scarf, you can try the twice around method, which is where you wrap it around a second time for extra warmth, but make sure you have a long enough scarf, otherwise this one is going to look a bit weird. For this, you can keep both ends out or tuck them in, whatever your preference. And then we have the overhand. You make sure one end is longer than the other, similar to how you would tie a necktie. And then just like how you would begin tying a necktie, you wrap the longer end over, behind, and then up and through. Tighten it as needed. And remember, this one looks extra stylish when one end is longer than the other. Gives it a little bit more of a layered look. And the last one for today is the fake knot. You make sure that one end of the scarf is longer than the other. And on the long end, you're going to tie a knot in itself. Make sure you leave an opening in the loop to put the short end through. Then adjust the knot upwards. You can keep this one untucked or you can tuck it into your jacket. And then there you have it, the fake knot the outfit with a hat of some sort. Most of your body heat leaves through your head. And there you have it. That's eight ways to style your scarf for men. Go ahead and click right here to subscribe and then check out some of the other videos in our library which are absolutely going to be helpful to you. And I'll see you there.